Trump sees something that jibes with his worldview, doesn't check it, half remembers it, and then passes it on, at which point it takes on a life of its own and appears to validate itself. Let me try and show you that machine in action. Trump's constant claim that millions of people voted illegally originated, as far as anyone can tell, from some dude on Twitter who claimed in November, while providing no evidence, we have verified more than three million votes cast by non-citizens. The next day, Infowars picked that up and it spread like jet fuel among the right-wing sites. Now, it was quickly debunked by multiple outlets, but despite that, days later, President-elect Trump started tweeting about millions of illegal votes and serious voter fraud in states like California. And by early December, people were on TV expressing similar concerns. Voting is a privilege in this country, and you need to be legal, not like California, where three million illegals voted. Where are you getting your information? From the media. And that right there actually answers our third question of why so many people believe Trump. Because if you get your news from similar sources to him, as, as many, many, many people do, he doesn't look like a crank. He looks like the first president ever to tell you the real truth. But rumors can be really tenacious, and I'll prove it. What rumor do you think of when you hear the name Richard Gere? <laughs> well, here's the thing. There is no proof that he did that. If you think about it, it's ridiculous. Have you ever held one of those things? There's no way it was possible. But if the president went on TV and told you it was true, you'd go, I knew it, thank you, I knew it. Finally, someone said it. But that loop gets much more dangerous when you're not talking about something as silly as gerbils. <laughs> Trump validated his supporters' beliefs about voter fraud, and in turn, they validated his. Because even when he was directly confronted with the lack of evidence, this is how he responded. You know what's important? Millions of people agree with me when I say that. If you would have looked on one of the other networks and all of the people that were calling in, they're saying, we agree with Mr. Trump, we agree. They're very smart people. Right, but just because they believe you and you believe them doesn't make it true. I think the president has believed that for a while, a long-standing belief that he's maintained. It's a belief he maintains. It's a belief that he's maintained for a while. As I've noted several times now, he's believed this for a long time. It was a comment that he made on a long-standing belief. I've asked and answered this question twice. He believes what he believes based on the information he's provided. If now, he does believe that, what does that mean for democracy? It means that, yeah, I've answered your question. Yeah, Have you? No, you haven't, Melissa. No, you haven't. <laughs> because this isn't about belief. It can't be. The incidence of voter fraud is a verifiable fact, and faith and facts aren't like Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. <laughs> when you confuse them, it actually matters. <laughs> Real people get hurt when you make policy based on false information. Billions will get spent on a wall that won't work to prevent a crime wave that isn't happening, while refugees sit in dangerous situations to prevent Bowling Green-style massacres that never took place. So, what are we going to do? Well, <laughs> there, is, there is one small way we wanted to try and sneak some useful facts into his media diet. As we now know, he watches morning cable news for information. So we've actually created a series of commercials in an attempt to bring him up to speed <laughs> on some information he may lack. We're going to run them on shows that we know he watches every day. Take a look. It might seem like a show of strength to kill the families of terrorists, but according to the Geneva Conventions, it's actually a war crime. Not all black people live in the inner cities, and not all people in the inner cities are black. Well, there's something you may not know. Appetizer fork. Entree fork. Now, I know it can sometimes feel as if you are the only person in the world. But, as you can see here, there are actually many non-you people. We call those other people. That ad will air tomorrow morning between 8.30 and 9 on all these channels in the D.C. area. And until we're shut down, we are prepared to educate Donald Trump one by one on topics we're pretty sure he doesn't know about.